Okay, uh, today I'd like to talk about uh, a way for disc golfers to get more distance. Now the thing I'm talking about basically is going to be for drives, but it's, it's the same thing for putts. How to get more acceleration at the end of your throw, the tip of the whip, so to speak. They're telling you, you know, reach back, which I don't advocate at all. And uh, a really good example of not having to reach back and still throwing 79 miles an hour is uh, Seppo Paiu. He doesn't reach back, you know, he winds up. And yeah, you do have to wind up your shoulders. And that's a key to getting more distance is winding up your levers. Got a lot of levers. You know, you got your hips, you're winding up your hips, like here, there's one of your levers, your shoulders, another one of your levers, so you wind the shoulder back, you don't have to reach back, because you're just going to have to come in here anyway, but you can if you want to, if it makes you feel good. It's basically, you can think of power from here down, you're developing power, but also there's speed going along there too, and momentum and all your body weight and stuff that you want behind the whip. And the whip occurs basically right here, from shoulder down. This upper part, the power part, pretty muscular. The whip part is pretty loose. It's almost as if uh, it's like a, a, an actual whip. You know, it, don't have, it doesn't have any muscles in it. It's carrying the disc, and it's got rhythm, and it's got all those levers working, but there's not a lot of muscles going on in there until you stop, okay? You're pulling the whip with your shoulder, okay? You're not pulling the whip with your arm so much. You're pulling the whip with your shoulder. And you let that thing whip. Where most of the acceleration occurs is not with your shoulders and it's not as your arm comes. Most of the acceleration, the important acceleration that really makes, that, that sets apart the top throwers from the next tier is the tip of that whip. That's where the disc is pivoting like this and then it's ripping out. We're looking at the graph of the acceleration of a sling and the acceleration of a whip. Velocity is the vertical axis and time is the horizontal axis. And as you can see in the sling, the acceleration increases evenly over time. On the right is the illustration of the acceleration curve for the whip. As you can see, it's fairly even at first, and right at the end, where the pivot begins, the acceleration increases significantly, such that the disc is leaving at 60 mile an hour plus. So the disc is pivoting, it rips out against your stopped wrist, and then it bounces off of your fingers downfield, like that. 